Hey, I'm back. It is Jen Eden. Hopefully, if you haven't just met me and you've been with me a while watching my stuff, you're not tired of me saying that I am the founder of this 20-year trademark sugar freedom method. Yes, five steps to help you get sugar under your control without dieting, deprivation, or having to weigh yourself every day to do those stupid shakes and all that other nonsense that does not work to help women feel good in midlife. Okay, so with that said, look, I wrote this the other day to uh, my newsletter community and I really want to talk to you about it. And it's these seven, let's call them fun facts about sugar, okay? And I find an educated person is an empowered person. And so I want you to know this about sugar and then you can start making better choices, okay? Number one, once sugar is in your system, it takes two days plus for it to leave. Sometimes it can take a week. So if you have sugar in you, you gotta know that you're in trouble and that you're gonna crave it tomorrow, okay? And so drink tons of water, I tell my clients. We tongue scrape. There's a million things that I teach to get the sugar off your tongue and to rebalance the body, but just know it's in your system for days. And so that's why you keep recreating, recreate, recraving it. Number two, sugar is a socially acceptable, sub, sub, acceptable drug. Uh, don't be fooled. It's a socially acceptable drug. And so while we have rehab centers, yes, for drugs, and we have Alcohol Anonymous for alcohol issues, we got nothing for sugar. It's just, ah, more willpower. You can do better tomorrow. Oh, you're feeling sad he's a cookie. And so when you know it's a drug, you start thinking, wow, I really need to seek some professional help to get the tools, okay, to get it out of your system. So that's number two. Number three, sugar is not like when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, okay? It's in everything now. It has over 100 names and our food quality is not the same. It is meant to addict us. And so just know it's not your fault. The food is not the same and sugar, which you now know is a drug, is in everything. That's number three. Number four, eating Eating clean to avoid sugar is a farce. There's no such thing. Your eating clean is different than my eating clean. People say, oh my God, eat quinoa, you'll feel amazing. A quinoa is the death to me. <laughs> Rice, brown rice has more fiber. Eating brown rice is the death to me. So please don't let people tell you, oh, you just need to eat clean and you'll be able to get sugar out. They're lying because eating clean is person specific. Okay, that's number four. Number five, in midlife, sugar is the reason women are inflamed, period. End of story, sugar's in everything and artificial sweeteners are sugar and they do more damage, oh gosh, I swear to you, than cane sugar. Especially that sucralose, okay, and all those kids' energy drinks. It's a neurotoxin, it causes wicked cravings, and just don't believe it, all right, that's number five. Number six, if you wanna lose belly fat for good, you must learn how to control sugar. You cannot out-exercise sugar in your diet. I'm sorry to say it, ladies and men. Same for those who only have a beer gut because the beer turns to sugar, causes problems with your liver, and the liver helps you burn fat at night. And so you're not burning fat, number one. Number two, sugar is inflammatory and it loves to store, especially artificial sweeteners, right in the midsection, gives you back fat. It's really awful and it's killing our health and you cannot have a flat belly without getting sugar under your control. Okay, and number seven, you do not have have to keep living in pain and exhaustion in midlife. Sugar is the problem. Women say to me, wow, Jen, it's been just, you know, five days, five days, and we've been learning the sugar freedom method. We've upgraded our breakfast and we've put yogurt in its proper place. And we, now we know granola is garbage. And I know skipping lunch is gonna make me binge at night. And they say to me, oh my God, I can't get over. My joints don't hurt the same and I'm not exhausted. Is that really sugar? And I say, hell yeah. Sugar causes that stuff. And so if that's you, I truly hope these seven fun, not so fun facts about sugar just get to wake you up a little bit, okay? About what it's doing to you. And then from there, at least you're at choice to make changes, but I'm all about education. All right, amazing. Have a great day. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, but you like the simplicity in which I teach, there's a link somewhere below this video. Come join me. I'd love you to be a part of my community. All right, have a great day.